Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's another Tuesdays in the Attic where we are working with Dusty Attic Sketches. Started in 2019, at least that's when they posted them on Instagram. So I went back and we started with week one. We are on week 34, I believe. Yeah, week 34. Another gorgeous two-pager. I love all the banners. And I was thinking, all right, what do I want to do? So I was looking through the photos I had printed recently. I happened to have five photos of my niece um, when she was hanging out at the dock on the pond um, at my in-law's house. So I figured we'd use those photos. And then I've been digging in through my stash, trying to find collections that I don't have a lot left of, trying to use them up. I happen to have Magical Forest and pretty much only the six by eight paper pad left. So I thought that would be a perfect opportunity to cut a bunch of flags. We also have the chipboard, the stickers. Oh, I do have this paper yet. Might have to use that. Um, the alphas, some other uh, ephemera and things. Um, yeah, the thickers. Got a little bit of this pattern paper left. See, not a lot left. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to use it up. And even for the strips that go across both pages, we can easily cut up some paper and just stretch them. And if we have seams, not a huge deal, but we are going to do that and get this used up as much as possible. So that's the goal. So uh, let me get kind of organized and let's get started. So I got so excited about doing this that I totally forgot to hit record when I started <laughs> and I realized it um, after I called the strip. So what I did is I had a little bit left of, it was a 12 by 12 of the strawberry paper. And so I cut that into one inch strips and I did the whole top. So I um, washi taped my two 12 by 12 pieces of paper together and then I... Um, stretched that across the top and I found this washi tape that's like in the same pink that's I believe a uh, one canoe two washi tape it's just like a very skinny pink with like a, um, a white x or a lighter pink x on it goes perfectly with the color of the strawberries and the other pinks in this collection which is fantastic and I mentioned this was magical for us I think right yeah so then I went ahead and looked through all the six by eight papers I had left and just started cutting banners. And even through um, some of the ones that uh, were not full six by eight, I cut banner or cut banners. Uh, and I, cause I figured I could tuck them behind the photos and I would hide them. Like you see that one print that's like a blue on blue. It's like uh, numbers is what it is. And then the other um, floral print is like that as well so right now I'm just taking I cut 14 different banners all different sizes I think the thickest ones were three and a half inches or I should say widest so ranging from three and a half inches to I believe the skinniest one is maybe three quarters of an inch um yeah I think that's what it is or I don't think I did any half inch but I just started cutting and just picked random ones and so then all you're seeing me do now is kind of fiddle with them and figure out where I like them to look where I like the way they look so you don't have to copy the sketch exactly as long as you're getting the same idea whichever way you like the way they look better what that's going to work for you but the whole point is looking at that sketch it's banners layered on top of each other and behind each other all behind the photos here and then there will be another strip of that strawberry paper that's going to go down in the bottom so that's what I'm do figuring out now so I also went and um backed my photos with some of the pattern papers as well I did a thicker mat on the photo of my niece right there with the it's like a gold um letter print on white and then I had the wood grain paper and like a darker green that's like the same color green green blue that the strawberries are on but it's just like a tone on tone almost like a crosshatch pattern um I did two of the square photos in that two of them in the wood grain so I'm just fiddling it, like I said, figuring out where I want what banners and how I want to layer them up and then starting to put those pieces that I have left over of that one inch strips of that strawberry paper kind of I will piece it together. I end up having like the the perfect amount. Um, I do leave a gap on the left hand side thinking I'm not going to have enough, but I'm like, I can cover this up with something on the left hand side. But I end up being able to put a piece of paper there just in case something peeks out. It doesn't. So I, I could have just used it, but it was a small piece of paper. It's, it's just going to 
get tossed. It's small enough that I'm just going to toss it. So I stuck it on the page after I figured out I had a little leftover. So that's all I'm doing right here. I'm going to kind of cut to start working on the right hand page now. Same thing. Just figuring out where I want the banners and how I want them to lay, lay on top of each other, tuck under that kind of thing. And then as I'm figuring that out, laying down that other one inch strip of that strawberry paper and just playing, just figuring out what looks best to me in my eye, but still following the sketch. And it worked out great. I think this turned out super cute. I'm only a little bummed because so I had started thinking about doing this page or this two page layout and I was like, oh, I'm going to ink the edges. I did. I did not ink any of the edges. I was going to and I it totally slipped my mind. I started playing with it and gluing things down and I was liking the way it looked and inking the edges. I did not. So but I still like the way it turned out. It just I think would have given it a little another pop of some kind. But I, like I said, I really love it. So. Just finishing that, um, getting that glued down, and then I will cut the pages apart and I will start doing the embellishing and I just do that then one page at a time. So here I am cutting this apart. And this collection is just, I can't believe I was able to stretch those six by eight papers, you know, this much. I still actually have a decent amount left. I probably can do, depending on what I do or how I do layouts, I probably could get two more layouts done in with it possibly um we'll see I might Ooh, do you know what'd be fun is doing like a almost like a quilt pattern with it because I have all these pattern pieces left that would be kind of fun this would be a cute one to do that with um but I'm going through and so all right so we're gonna start embellishing and finishing the left page so I popped that main photo up on foam I have just some foam that's adhesive backed I I usually order it on um, Amazon. It's like a Doris brand. It's basically like kids foam packs. I just picked up a pack from, I think it was Joann's or Walmart. Uh, not too bad. You get like 40 of them. They're all different colors. It doesn't matter the color. They're going behind stuff. I put that there and then glued my photo down. And I really want, I fussy cut the unicorn out of one of the six by eight papers. And then I use like pieces of that paper um, for some of the banners as well. So I fussy cut the unicorn. I want to create like a little cluster down there with it. So I'm going to grab some of this um, chipboard and put that there and then go through the ephemera. I found a little journaling spot and this little card also says, this is where the fun stuff happens, which was cute. And I just did a little journaling about, um, how she was so excited to throw rocks in and then she figured out she could take a bucket and, but she, what well, the funny thing was too, is that she would take the bucket and take it down to the water and then she would go get handfuls of rocks, <laughs> bring it to the bucket and then throw them from the bucket to the water. She got the concept, but just not quite. It was super cute. So I just did some journaling there in that card and then, um, Tucked it up in there. Going to use a couple of the strawberries. I have one strawberry sticker for down below and then this strawberry ephemera piece. I'm going to make sure I put it kind of layer it on top of the photo. So I'll pop some of it on little foam squares. I will eventually to grab some of the puffy stickers. I like all the little mushrooms and I figured we're down by a pond. Um, mushrooms, you know, mushrooms and strawberries are what I embellished with apparently. They have nothing to do with anything, but it's cute. It works. So now I'm on the right side page and I wanted to use this big, yep, little explorer for my, for my, um, title, which was perfect. Layer up some mushrooms by it and then some chipboard. This one says, oh my darling. I'm going to lay up a couple of the mushrooms there too. There's uh, one sticker one left and a couple chipboard ones. And then I will start working on the little banner, um, cluster that goes up on the upper left hand side of this right hand page. So I take, um, I'm going to go through all the papers I used for the ban the big banners and just cut some tiny banners out of some of them i end up using one two three four five six seven different papers because i wanted an odd number and just cutting different size banners once again not even i didn't even pay attention to the size i just kept them pretty small i think they're all one of them might be two inches that might be the biggest one otherwise maybe an inch half an inch uh inch and a half but mostly inch and half an inch is what it looks like 
So I cut a bunch of little tiny strips and then I'm going to just start layering them up and glue them down. Now on the sketch they are stitched across. I'm not doing stitching anywhere else and so I didn't really feel like getting my sewing machine out for doing that. But I have so many chipboard like little banners. So I'm going to glue this all down um, after I get them arranged how I want them. And then I'm going to take one of the chipper banners that says I, I love you this much. And kind of drape it over it and then I'm going to take two of the puffy strawberries and stick them up there just to bring some more of that gold up there and then there's a little bit of gold um, everywhere mm, except for the journaling spot that I have on the left but that's okay and that's it so here's some close-up you guys thanks for watching I will see you next Tuesday I appreciate you all bye